What's up, <laughs> Liron here. This is gonna be a quick video. Today I wanna to address a question I get quite often and that is how do you know what colors to use? Now I have a couple of problems, a personal beef with this question. That is, there is an underlying assumption in this question. Listen to it. How do you know what colors to use? Now, not necessarily, but let me, let me just get through my points here and you'll see what I mean. To me, it sounds like the person asking the question believes that there is a, a correct way of doing this. There is one specific way, one specific color for any given scenario that is, sorry, there is a, a perfect match. And that's just not the way it works in my personal experience. There is an endless amount of ways you can go about a painting. And I've actually proven this by painting the same scene multiple times. So I have a bit of a problem with this question because there is this underlying assumption of there is one correct way, there is one right way. Okay, now, the question that I would ask you is, if you don't know what color to use, what do you want? What are you after? What do you want your painting to look like? Do you want it to be very vibrant and happy? Do you want it to be muted and gray and sad and gloomy? Do you want to do a nice combination of the two in which most of it is gloomy and gray and then one area gets a punch of beautiful orange or beautiful yellow? Kind of like these photos that people edit, they leave just one part in color. So I would encourage you to ask yourself, what do you want your painting to be like? Do you want to go realistic? Great, then work on your color matching skills because to be realistic, you have to match the colors as and values as accurately as you see them. Do you want to be more expressionistic or impressionistic? Experiment, try a lot of things, see what you like, see how you like to use color and learn your own quirks and funny things. Like for me, I know I love warm colors. I love yellows, I love reds. I love to put a lot of them in and put a strong emphasis on them, okay? Maybe you love cool colors, maybe there's a certain color you love and you wanna use it for everything. Like one of the things I wanna try out real soon is to use a more muted Velasquez palette. So burnt sienna, French ultramarine, um, a bit of yellow ochre, not too much more than that. Maybe a touch of pyrrole scarlet just for the main, uh, main interesting areas. So, you know, experiment, see what works for you. Now, do you, um, and no matter what you wanna do, try both. Try doing both the color matching uh, work and really focus on matching the colors accurately. You can check out my video. I'm gonna probably link it somewhere here. Um, and I talk about and I show how to do this. You get a viewfinder, you scan the photo and with every little square you get out of the viewfinder, which is this thing right here, okay? So you can see my skin tone through it and then you know you wanna paint this, okay? Or you wanna paint that. Or you just go over the painting or the, or the, the reference and you match the colors you see. And when you become proficient at it, you can do it more and more and really nail down that realistic look, okay? So practice that, practice the more expressive side of things. Okay, now here's what I do personally. And if you've been following my stuff for a while now, you know it, but I just get so many questions uh, that, that are of similar kind of uh, phrasing that I think maybe people miss it out. And I would never assume you watch all the videos because there's just so many of them. And I do know some people uh, binge and watch back videos like older ones and then they get the information but in case you don't know so I'm a big fan of uh, the um, limited palette so I'll probably use anywhere from three to six colors in any given painting usually it's three to four uh, what I love to do is use the split primary palette so I'm using a warm and cool version of every primary color that's the, the gist of it okay that's usually what I'm after um, I don't like cool yellows as much, so it's gonna be warm red, cool red, warm blue, uh, cool blue, and then one yellow, usually a warmer one. Um, so that's something that I really like. Now, when it comes to the actual specific colors, I find that I can mix pretty much whatever I want out of these. Some things you can't mix out of these because if you have a very bright, um, bright orange, for example, it's gonna be hard to mix if you don't have the right colors or if you buy the pre-mix, okay? Um, so that's, it is some, sometimes challenging, but I think if you get like Pyro Scarlet, you can mix a lot of very bright colors anyway. So, um, so I will say this, 
I can mix whatever I want from them, but what I love about this is the color harmony is on point. No matter what you do, you're gonna get the colors you, to look good harmoniously because you know that your green is made up of the same blue and yellow you use all throughout the painting, just an example. Now, I'm a big fan also of muted colors at times, muted uh, cools and then more saturated warms. So I'll get uh, this gray blue and then this strong punchy red and yellow. Okay, now when it comes to a specific color, I'm not so much about chasing the specific color I see in, in a scene. I'm more about uh, hitting the temperature to create interest. So I'm more concerned with the overall composition uh, of the painting and figuring out how I can get the temperature to look good and look interesting uh, for the viewer. And I guess it's either to mimic the temperature I see accurately or to just use whatever temperature I want uh, and, and give the message I want. So if I look at a scene and it looks very balanced, maybe I want to put more emphasis on the heat of the scene or the warmth of it. So I'll bring out the warms more strongly, okay? Um, maybe I want to put an emphasis on the shadows and the colors in them. So I'll use punchy, colorful colors within the shadows. Um, it really depends on what I want to express. So I want you to try, if you have that notion, to let go of the notion of how do you know what colors to use? This is about experimentation. It's about doing what's tried and true in addition to that. So you go a little more traditional and conservative with the techniques of color matching, value matching, the, the, the classic techniques of painting what you see accurately, working in a very methodical way, covering up spaces very slowly and patiently. But then on the other hand, work on that craziness, work on the more contemporary stuff, work on the more loose paintings, try and get the best out of both worlds. And I think that's how you make good art. That's what I think, you know, and obviously it's very subjective. That's my opinion about what I like about my own art. I like that um, combination of contemporary wildness and traditional classic clarity and structure. Okay, so you do you, the question of how do you know what color to use? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't know what color to use and then you just try. Maybe you do know because you wanna match the color you see or you know you wanna get a certain temperature, okay? And you've seen me in one of my recent videos, I believe it was already published by now, uh, that I uh, improved upon an existing painting and I took it from a very strong and saturated older painting, very strong and saturated green. I took it into a more muted and subdued um, subtle kind of color harmony and that worked out really well. So, you know, if everything is too bright and shiny, maybe I personally don't like it and then I took it the next step to make it better in my opinion. But you may like it, you know, so give it a shot, try it out, try a lot of things, but also learn the classic traditional techniques. With that, I'm gonna wrap up this video before I start to really ramble. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you watching the videos. It means the world to me and I've been getting a lot of very nice emails and messages and comments here. Um, I really appreciate it. It makes my day. It helps me direct the future direction, of, dictate the future direction of the channel and it really makes a difference. So if you ask for a topic, you can really expect me to cover it in the future if, if it falls obviously within my lane. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you again in the next video real soon.